We are at the 31st annual Big Iron in the Red River Valley Fairgrounds in West Fargo. A beautiful uh, Wednesday at Big Iron. Temperatures uh, hovering right around 50 degrees with plenty of sunshine out here. And uh, we're going to try to take you on a virtual tour of at least some of the Big Iron area. And uh, here with us uh, today is uh, KFGL Farm and Ranch Director Shauna Olson. And Shauna, what a great day, what a great outpouring of support from the farmers. Yes, I'll tell you what, it's been super busy out here today and yesterday especially. Um, big, big crowds out here and of course lots of m machinery to look at, lots of farm equipment. I actually got to go out and take a trip uh, out at a Titan Machinery and I rode, uh, drove one of their auto steer quad tracks. So that was really cool. There's all kinds of things to do out here and I'll tell you what, these farmers are having a heyday Day. They love this stuff, and uh, they've been milling around here checking out all this equipment, all this big iron, and uh, having a really good time. I actually got a chance to talk to a lot of farmers, too, about how their crops are looking, and I've heard everything from disappointing to uh, looking not so bad. So, it's um, been a great day out here at Big Iron, and we have another day left tomorrow. Looking forward to it. You know, one of the mainstays of Big Iron is, what's the next big product? What's the next big agricultural implement or product that these farmers are going to rely on to uh, up their profits, etc. Uh, have you seen anything that sticks out this year in particular? I guess I guess the most interesting thing that I saw and what was really cool was that, that quad track that I drove in. It's the 600 horsepower for Titan Machinery, the auto steer. How mechanic, you know, it's just so computerized inside, you know, you didn't have to touch the steering wheel to drive it, but um, that's one of the big the neatest things I saw out here so far. It's early on for me though, but yeah, lots of neat stuff out here. You know, there are hundreds, literally hundreds of vendors out here. I don't know exactly how many, but it's literally in the hundreds with thousands of spectators here on the Red River Valley Fairgrounds itself. I've seen products uh, ranging anywhere from a, a hand tool all the way up to that quad track uh, uh, device that you just talked about today. So it really, really is a wide range, a wide gamut, and if you uh, get hungry or thirsty, there's even a, a, a food court, just like uh, the fair itself. Yes, there's certainly, a, there's lots to choose from, any kind of food or drink that you could possibly want. They even have breakfast out here, so if you come out early like I do, you can even get breakfast out here. Some of the equipment we're looking at now, this looks like really the cream of the crop stuff. Some real high grade, high end material as far as ag implements go. It's a fascinating display. It's uh, really quite nothing like it here in the upper Midwest. Yeah, everybody can brings their latest and greatest out here. And I know I was talking to one guy earlier and he was telling me, he was an older guy and he said, you know, this is absolutely amazing to see this kind of equipment that's out here. Um, just the, how far it's come in technology, how advanced things are. He said it absolutely is mind-boggling. And from the 31st Annual Big Iron with John Olson, I'm Jim Monk.